Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you the initial checkout of an A&E three-slot payphone and this payphone's in very good condition. And this is Carl's telephone from PA. And he's also got a bell box here that we're going to be taking a look at. And on this telephone, first of all, I want to show you a flap that is pretty rare. Uh, you're not going to see this flap very often. And it flaps over the money. It's a cover. And it says read. And then it has an arrow indicating that you're supposed to go down here to the informational card and read that. And that informational card's in very good condition. This this telephone is a really good example um, of a payphone in very good condition. And so uh, we have a lot that we want to do with this telephone. Uh, I'm going to talk to Carl about this, but he's got a note here, and uh, he wants a bell installed inside the payphone and also a modular port so he can simply plug it into any telephone line. And so we're going to go through this telephone and do whatever we need to do to wire the bell in and finish the bell circuit, install a modular port so you can plug in a line to it, and then do any wiring that we need to do on the inside and go through the rotary. Now he has both of his keys. He has his body key and lock and his vault door. And so he even has a, a cash box here. And so that's a plus. So that's really cool. I'm going to go ahead and reach over here and take the body and then spin it around and I'll show you this flap that they have on here. So that's a really cool situation. Very rare. You won't see that very often. And then he has all of his workings on the inside. He has his coin validator and then he has this connection block here. So pretty much everything is to this telephone. We'll kind of move the body out of the way for a second and uh, take a look at the inside of the telephone. Now going through the center hole in the, in the middle here, we've got a couple of lines that come out. And one was probably wired into the telephone line and the other one probably shot down to the bell box. I'll uh, give you a look at his hopper. Now, the face on this uh, telephone says automatic electric, but the base is a 233G, and down by the coin return, it says Bell Systems. So even though it's parted together, it's a very cool telephone. And also I want to set the video down because we want to take a look at his uh take a look at his bell box that he has here. I have the screw out of it. And it's also a bell system. And we have everything that goes to this bell here. I'm not sure what we're going to be doing with this bell. He may want uh, it connected in or have a way to connect it into the telephone line. And then also uh, make a connection to the telephone itself with a bell installed in that. So it's just going to be a work in progress at this point. And uh, he's got a really nice set up here. And then he has this tag on the back of the body here that says automatic electric. So we're going to take a short break and uh, start working on this telephone and getting it straightened out for Carl. We'll be right back. Okay, we're finished up with this payphone, and so what we've done here is install a bell and uh, created a bell circuit 
for the inside of the telephone. We also went through the rotary and straightened that out, made sure the numbers were racking off properly and cleaned the points and adjusted everything. We also uh, went in and installed a modular port so uh, any line cord, any length or whatever can be plugged into it. And so we also rewired everything in the payphone and we went into the bell. Now there's an external bell here and we wanted to set that up for Carl to where uh, if he wanted to plug a line cord into it, he could plug a line cord into it but then have another port where he could run a line cord out and feed the payphone. So he would have an external bell and then he would have an internal bell inside the payphone. Now a little bit of everything was done to the phone because we had to rewire everything and get everything straightened out. This telephone also has a very rare, like we mentioned earlier in the video, uh, it has a flap on it over the coins and so that says read and an arrow back down to the informational card. We also got a dial center card on it that says wait for dial tone and that's kind of more to the period of the telephone. So what we want to do now is I want to show you the bell here real quick. I have the cover off of it. And so now what we can do here is this has been mounted and it's uh, connected up to the connection block. And so really all that has to happen here is uh, Carl can simply plug a line cord into this part of the um, adapter and then he can also come out this end so he could feed the bell and then go on and feed the uh, pay phone. So we'll go ahead and set that to the side now because what we want to do is uh, do some final checks on this uh, pay phone. So we're going to go ahead and ring it. I'll let that go a couple times since that was one of the issues. Let it go one more time. Give you some dial tone. And now what we want to do if you watch the analyzer is we want to dial through our numbers. I want to move the light here so it doesn't wash out the video. I'm going to end in a 2. And then what I want to do is I want to transmit into the handset. And if you watch that red light on the analyzer, every time I transmit, you'll see a light that's an indication of 100% modulation on transmit. One, two, three, four, five, six, hello, hello. So we know that this telephone is in working condition, and uh, we're going to go ahead and plug it into a regular telephone line now. We'll move it over and we'll do some calls with it. We'll call like say a time and temp number give you some dial tone. Good morning. Two Ford stores, one great company, Offenberg Ford. A short drive to great value. Today is Tuesday, June 12th. The time is 12.36. Current temperature at 75 degrees. Now the Belleville area weather forecast. Partly cloudy overnight, lows in the low 60s, mostly sunny on Tuesday, highs around 80. Okay, so we can call one other number now. Give you some dial tone. We'll call my number. busy. We can call one other number. Give you some dial tone. We don't need anything from there. Right now, but... Thank you for calling Walmart. 
Okay, we know that the telephone is fully functional now and uh, we can go ahead and drop some money into this telephone and uh, I want to grab some change that we can put into it and Carl has a coin box for this uh, three slot pay phone and he had his locks and keys which was really cool so we'll go ahead and lay out some money here so now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and put some uh, change into it and we'll raise the flap. Now a nickel will uh, ding the bell once, a dime will ding twice, put another dime in, a quarter will gong, I'll do another dime, we'll do a nickel, another nickel, quarter, We'll do a dime, another dime, nickel, and one more quarter. And so now what we can do here is we can open up our vault, move that to the side, pull our coin box out, and now Carl has all kinds of bubblegum money. I actually have customers that tell me that they hide uh, important small things in the vault of these once they've hung it on the wall or installed it into a payphone booth because uh, these telephones are very hard to get into and they're like little little safes so you know I'm sure a lot of people uh, you know use them for that reason so anyway uh, I'm gonna go ahead and unplug the line cord from the back of the telephone I want to bring it around and I want to show you the bell now. This is Carl's external bell and I can simply pull the cover off and uh, go ahead and plug into it and then you know when he mounts it all he has to do is just simply plug into it and we'll ring the bell. I'll stop the ring, but now what we can do here is uh, I'll put another line cord on the unit and then we'll feed the telephone. We can go ahead and uh, plug up to the other side of the port. So now what we can do is I'll go ahead and ring the phone and that would be both bells now ringing and I'll give you some dial tone and then we'll walk through our numbers one more time if you watch the analyzer. in a two. I'll hang up. Give you some dial tone. We'll ring it one more time. Give it one more ring. And then some dial tone. So really what it comes down to is Carl can use this external bell if he pleases and if he doesn't want to use it, it's all ready to go to be used. So uh, he could just use the uh, bell that's in the telephone, but um, he 
he could use that if he felt like it. So that would feed the telephone. And this is a really cool payphone. Uh, basically what it is is it's a uh, 233G for the, uh, the base of the unit, the vault and everything, and the backboard is a 233G. Now the front plate, the body, and dial and everything is an A and E, and it also has an A and E tag on the top. So, you know, the phone has been pieced together, but it's a really cool telephone, and it's in very good condition, and it has a really rare flap on it for the money to cover up the uh, coins. You won't see that very often if you ever see it again. They're just a really rare find on that. So this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com. And you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. This is Carl's Telephone from PA. Thank you for watching and have a great day.